tent camping. I just want y'all to see how full <laughs> the Kia is. Right well, there, there's as in the much trunk. in the trunk. Yeah, the trunk is full too. We haven't been tent camping in probably I mean, probably twelve years. Yeah, for me it's probably probably, longer than that. probably been about seven or eight years for me. The last time I went was a primitive camping trip to Cumberland Island in well Georgia, but anywho, you had to you got dropped off by the ferry and then you had to hike in <clears throat> to your site. Ours just happened to be like ass end of nowhere but you couldn't carry any carts, nothing. So whatever you had, you had to be brought in on your back and taken out on your back. Well, I'm clarifying tent camping because we have the pop-up. We went camping with it, but we don't have the pop-up anymore, so. What? I'm sorry, dude. I can't. <laughs> well, we don't have the pop-up anymore, so now we got a brand new tent that says I can set it up in 60 seconds, so. I'm going to time him. We're going to time this. It's going to be hilarious. You might surprise he yourself. Might be sleeping on the ground. No, yeah, look. Tits, tits suck. No, tits. my chubby ass is not sleeping on the ground. Yeah, aggravate. But, uh, I'll unload this damn car, bundle everything up in the tent, and I'll put the seat down. <laughs> but we got, we got a lot of stuff, and we still forgot stuff. Yeah. Somebody forgot the uh, camp chairs. Uh, you. Yeah. Somebody forgot soup bowls for the soup I'm making tonight. Me. Uh, we'll figure that out. And we also forgot the griddle. Yeah, and we just, she just cleaned that all up and I used it. Reseasoned it. And I didn't put it back where I was supposed to, so it didn't make it in the car. Which is fine, we got other things to cook with. Yeah. It'll no be big. all right. We're, we're adding to our list. Well, hopefully, we're going to do more tent camping this year. and forward that way we can get a little bit more involved in the places that we go where we can go and we can camp there and do more than just go for a day trip so we have one or two big trips planned to go camping on so hopefully fingers crossed hopefully all that pans out so. yeah so it's been a while since we've been up here but if you guys remember in our very first video they got it all done up. Yep, they were working on the Indian mound. So it's all finished. And God, here we go. what everybody keeps saying is the best campsite so it's very shaded very shaded very very uh, our <laughs> open top canopy ain't gonna really matter in a tent i don't no. think we're gonna be able to uh, stargaze stargaze but uh we got a picnic table we got a fire pit over there we're creek side we it's got some creek. power here some water and uh this is our our lot 
home for the next two nights. We're going we're gonna to get out this 60-second tent <laughs> and set this thing up. That way I don't have to do it drunk. Wow, you really got a starting I'll, tonight. I work today, so <laughs> I just got here. It's a little after, well, it's about 6.30 now. Yeah. So we got a couple of hours before it gets dark. This already. place is so pretty. I'm so excited. This is not going to happen in 60 seconds. You might surprise yourself. No. All right. Go. All right, timer's going. Go, 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 Tommy. I believe you can fly. Uh, I, got I believe you can touch the sky. Maybe it was 60 seconds from the time you got all the pieces. <laughs> like. All right, 39 seconds. All right, redo. Unfold. I told him we should have set this up at the house as a trial run. Two people. Go. Take two. Wait, you gotta figure out how the buttons and shit work. <laughs> Weren't you a Boy Scout? Fuck no. <laughs> All right, you got 24 seconds. Oh, there you go. Yep, that one. How the field had to be reaching over your head for everything, Tommy. You failed. How you walk in? Is there no directions? Oh, I got it. I got it. Damn. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good job. It's smaller than I thought it would be. That's what she said. <laughs> so we bought this damn thing. We seen it had a light inside of it. We're like, we really don't need no damn light. But watch this. That's one. Two. Damn. This was what, 80 bucks? Something like that. Huh. But it's got a little on and off button over here that blows at night. Just push it, it lights up. That is so cool. So, um, we were told that this site has power, and it does. But it's 50 amp power. And that means we really don't have any way to blow up our air mattress. But Tommy looks like he's got a plan, hopefully. He's mad right now. <laughs> Do you think it's going to work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Was that yeah with a question mark? Considering I've had the car five years, I've never got this out. It might not even work. Y'all, he's really upset. He went for a walk, I guess, to back up and punt and think about it. I don't know. So I'm working on getting a little fire going. Oops. I guess next time we know to ask, is it regular 110 power or is it 50 or 30 amp? This spot's pretty though. Got a pretty little creek. So 
that'll be fun to explore later. And it goes up there too. And here's the RV area. And then there is a cute little bridge over there in the woods that connects the tent area to the RV area. We'll be back. This is gonna like be like me trying to fit in Girl Scouts. Go ahead, Tommy, since you're being so cute, so adorable. While well, I was just sitting here building a fire that you couldn't build. I that fire looked up. good. I looked up. I think there's a rabbit in there. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I see something. Har. Har. <laughs> I hate you. I still hate you. <laughs> Number three on lists of things that I forgot. This time on the grocery list was charcoal. But at least tonight we don't need it. We will need it tomorrow. But we're close enough to town. And I think the camp store has some too. So at least that what that's not a big dramatic issue. What Thank God. Doing? Charcoal. Oh. Yeah, I went to the fucking store twice. Still forgot. <laughs> Bought it earlier this week. Used it. <laughs> well, it about kicked my ass. <laughs> and I about said, fuck this air mattress thing. But I'm a creature of comfort. And I like my luxury percale and Egyptian cotton sheets. <laughs> my alternative down comforter. So I had to make this bed, which barely fit in this tent. <laughs> I'm going to turn you around and show you the product of my handiwork. This was not the direction we wanted the head to be in. <laughs> However, this is the direction that it went into. And normally I make my bed every single day at home. But you know what's not going to happen tomorrow morning? I'm not going to make this bed. Screw it. All right. So we're going to check out the bathhouse. All the necessaries. Sink. Places for you to do your hair. Pretty decent shower stalls. Skylit. And there's a light switch. There. So there's two shower stalls. And have two um, bath houses in this area. And there's the outside of it. There's some people down there throwing axes. That's kind of cool. And there's our site. So, I mean, it is pretty close. There's the bathhouse. And we're just right there. So, it's not that bad of a walk, but at 4 a.m. when I have to get up and pee, it kind of is. This is the main playground, but they've got another one. I wanted to go ahead and do that while there was no kids playing because it's almost nine o'clock. So Sunday is their, not only the 4th of July, but it is their 55th anniversary here. And then they do hay rides on Saturdays, but it's just, it's really nice here. So apparently this is a historical site also. So I'll look more into that. Hmm, that's interesting. Y'all, they got books. They've got a beautiful deck out here that overlooks the lake. And you can fish. As far as I understand, no license required. And you can swim. They also have horses here and they do trail rides. So it's pretty nice, not bad for uh, 
thirty dollars a night. And there's the pool table. And it's open all night. All right, so I am making tomato basil soup, or you could call it bisque because it's got cream in it if you want to be fancy. But this is just the start of it. That's the uh, chicken broth and the spices. With a little bit of water added to it. Spices. Spices. <laughs> so when it comes to a boil, I'll add the uh, tomato paste. And this is a really easy way to do it instead of, uh, we're kind of roughing it. I just uh, tore them. All right, so this is our first night, dinner one, tomato bisque, and a pesto and mozzarella grilled cheese. And soon, <laughs> I shall come to life. It only took 30 minutes to boil water. So, how was your first night in your tent? It was good, we stayed up a little too late. Somebody woke me up at five o'clock in the morning, had to go to the bathroom. I got a cramp in my leg, <laughs> my growing and it still hurts. Starting 001, there's no coffee. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, I don't have any coffee. My eyes are all puffy because we did stay up way too late. I don't think we went to bed till like. I don't know, because both of my phones died. Yeah, it was late. And then my micro bladder woke me up at five. And even though we're not that far from the bathhouse, I wasn't walking up there by myself. So I made time to get up because you know. <laughs> You get married, you signed up for it. And also he said, if you need to get up, I'll get up with you. I'll go with you, you don't? Did. He did, I but did. it also took me 17 tries. And finally I was like, I'm about to pee in the tent. And then he got a cramp. And then he got a cramp. So then I drove, it, drove the car over there. <laughs> he drove the car over there. And then we about went down the embankment because we were both half asleep. It's mostly true. But anyway, it was fun. It was a good night. It really was. So, yeah. But I like camping. Got cast iron envy, don't you? That's pretty. <clears throat> Look at my baby. It's pretty. <laughs> well, my other baby. I've got another one. <laughs> but this is my take places with me. Like if we go stay in a cabin somewhere or whatever, I'll take that one. Yeah, this one can be replaced, the other one cannot. Yeah, the other one's an antique 1835 Erie pan, so. I cook with her all the time, but that one right there, I can buy another one. Mm -hmm. Look at him go, y'all. Wash them dishes, baby. So, Ozark Trail had these marketed as uh, collapsible cups, and it comes in its, uh, comes in like a little kit, two plates, some cutlery, and these, well, when we decided to make soup, we realized we didn't bring any bowls or anything. These things were perfect. They've got a uh, measurement areas on there too. Yeah, they were awesome. The trick to cooking with it, with a properly seasoned pan, is making sure it's heated up before you put anything, butter, oil, anything in it. So after all that, why would you say something so hateful and hurtful? All that. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. You better not mess up my eggs. We're doing sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese croissants. Croissants. Croissants for breakfast. I keep forgetting to drink my coffee. You're too busy. <laughs> you see my cup there? I love that cup. Let me see the front. I love that. So. That says candy. So when I got up this morning at 5 o'clock to make the journey to the, the, the bathhouse for Oregon, I decided I would go ahead and hand make these croissants. Say that one more time. I handmade these this morning at 5 a.m. 
and they're pretty. Why you lie? <laughs> I made four of them, and I put them in this little container to carry them. <laughs> I made the container too. Yeah. All right. So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna cut those open, and then I'm going to put some butter on them. I'm going to toast them on the insides. Then I'm gonna add the stuff that we just cooked. And then I'm going to toast the outsides. And we're gonna have Tommy's homemade croissant breakfast sandwiches. 10 out of 10 and you ain't gonna to go to McDonald's and buy that thing. No. <laughs> yes, delicious. Thank you. So Tom. Yes. How did you modify this from a standard cooler to a refrigerator? <laughs> Well, without things getting soggy and disgusting. So you got these big gel packs that come from HelloFresh. <laughs> and this liner that they line their boxes with from HelloFresh. And then I just put these in here. I got two on the bottom. Put two on the top. And then I have two of these get inside and I have one that fits over like so and I ran a thermometer in there a test at the house and it held for three days it never got above 42 You ready to skin this cow? Do we get steak from it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's go. So seasonally, this uh, campground has a chapel for outdoor worship, which is really cute. Hey, baby. You got a big old field right here. Beautiful. That's the only one out here. That we've seen like a group of like 20 people riding off in the woods over there. Well, <laughs> we were going to come to this petroglyph site, but they got it closed because of resource protection. Whatever the hell that means. Well, it means that, uh, Probably people weren't staying on the trail. See, there's steps up to it, and it's through the woods just a short way. But if it's closed to the public, I don't know what all these. Oh, you do. Hang on. However, you say that name. The Arkaqua. 
the trail to Brass Town Ball begins behind you across the road. So these people oh. hike into Brass Town Ball. You know who ain't gonna be hiking to Brass Town Ball? Me. Brass Town Ball. Ding. <laughs> it's the highest elevation in Georgia. So what is Track Rock? Well, Tommy, I'm glad you asked. Track Rock is a 52 acre archeological site that contains apparently several petroglyphs um, of footprints, um, animals, crosses, I think fish, various other things of ancient Indian origin. So at least, well, I mean, we know about it. We just can't go see it. Yeah. So it's not, wasn't just one petroglyph. It was several, several over a 52 acre span, which meant I wore the wrong shoes anyway. <laughs> Y'all might remember we vlogged up here uh, back during the winter time, but we came, it was you know, still pretty much locked down because of the pandemic. And then also it was Sunday, so most things were closed. And there was a shop up here that Tommy and I both were interested in going to, but it was closed due to both. So we're gonna hit it up now. And there's a pretty little Blairsville courthouse. I don't know, are they even open? <laughs> this is gonna be one of them days, isn't it? We got lights on. All right, let's see. What, Tommy? Well, as good as my eyes are, it says we will be closed Saturday, July 3rd. So, it seems we're not meant to come to this place. So. All I wanted to get was some fresh ground grits. <laughs> oh. We're going. We found something. We're going. It is the Don't, world. No, oh, don't stop. Say it. Okay. We're going. So, uh, we, we made it to our destination. <laughs> it's, uh, believe it or not, it's right on the side of the road. We've well, probably passed it a hundred times and never even noticed it. But this is, this is part of Americana. It's in a, a whole series across the United States you can find. It's a true story. And, it? and we drove to get here. I mean, this is, y'all ready? It's the world's largest Amish chair, <laughs> built in 2013 as a part of the big chairs across America thing. <laughs> well, there's one in the town where all my family lives, because but that's also Thomasville Furniture, you know. Well, so. Oh, it's even got a sign on it, right up there. World's largest Amish chair. You're not allowed to sit in it. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. There you go. We find it. We will search out a damn chair in a minute. <laughs> well, that's that. We are at what? Um, uh, Picket Pickers Barn. Pickers Barn. It's like a flea, flea market, market, antique, whatever consignment. consignment. Tommy saw that they have coins and. So he wanted to check it out, so that's what we're gonna do. Actually, I said they have books, so I wanted to stop them. Sure, <laughs> sure, Tommy, sure. In case somebody needs to feed this cow, he's a little skinny. <laughs> oh, bless it. So soft, though. Feel that. Wow. Oh, those soft as that steak I'm going to eat tonight. <laughs> oh my god. My brother went to Penn State. I went to the state pen. <laughs> How cute. Y'all. Albums. Disco Dynamite. Woo. Oh, Tommy has that, the Miss Lydia Pinkerton's medicine bottle tonic. That's kind of cool, because he's been collecting bottles since he was little. He doesn't really collect them now, but he still has quite a few 
of ones that had sentimental value. It's a pretty cool place. It's a what? You know, like ours is made for a... Um, ours, we have a Wurlitzer and... Wurlitzer was a department store. Right. This is the Fully Furniture Company. Let's see that was made for. I wonder what your... Oh, wow. They're asking 200 and it needs repair? Yeah. We have two and both of them are in excellent working condition. We have one cabinet one, and the only thing that's wrong with it is that got damaged there, but that's a lot. These things are hard to repair, and as far as I know, there's only like two places in the United States that can repair them, and one's in California and one's in Connecticut, and it's like a war pension to send them off. That's unfortunate, because those things usually end up in the landfill. <laughs> but I think we were just meant to hang out at the campground today because pretty much everything we went to go try to do was closed um, maybe for the holiday weekend or maybe just closed period because there is a retired Disney Imagineer that lives up here and he has a fairy garden that is free and open to the public that you can walk through but it's closed so it's free and not open yeah. to the <laughs> Right? You're free to pass on by. So that was closed. Um, we were going to go to a coin shop. That was closed. So I don't know what we're going to do now. What you got there? Mm -hmm. I bought an adapter. Yeah. <laughs> I think I understand why people like just take off into the woods and don't come back. I think I could stay right where I'm at for like ever. I know it's not the beach and my ass isn't sitting in the sand, but for somebody who loves rocks as much as I do, I mean, really doesn't get much better than this. Except for if you're allergic to that, any of that. I try not. I don't I don't get poison ivy, poison oak, none of that stuff. But Tommy does. He's highly allergic to it and guess where he's at? <laughs> Walking up through it. Found a couple of nice Micah bookings. Like that guy right there. It's a little memento from our trip. But I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little bit. Since we have power now, we were able to deflate the mattress a little bit and uh, turn it the way we wanted to so that there's a little bit of floor space there so we can get in, get in or out <laughs> <laughs> instead of... Getting in's easy, but getting out was a little tough. Yeah, because of that flap right there, but... I'm going to tell you what. Tell me if, what, if Tommy. You, if you need a tent, this is the tent for you. I mean, I wouldn't try to stick a family of six in it or anything, but two people... Two, Maybe well, three. Yeah, two, three. Yeah, well. Or two, two adults, adults two and kids. yeah, two small kids. Right. It was really worth the money. I mean, all, all you gotta do is take it down and push these buttons. And it's comfortable too. I remember the tents back in my day. They would get clammy and damp inside. Yeah, see, that one didn't do that. I it didn't. about that too because I hate that feeling mm -hmm. when you get into a tent and it's all like you you didn't dry your sheets long enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I do too. But that didn't have that. It, and the whole top. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a. It's screened in top. So it's what they call it, the stargazer roof. Yeah. And this just keeps the rain out so it's going to rain. But if not, you take that off and you just look at the stars. But we went over the cooler, so it's been a day and a half. Yeah. Since I packed the cooler and everything's in the cooler. And we've opened it multiple times, so it ain't light. So I have my thermometer down inside okay 32 degrees thanks hello fresh sometimes your shipping sucks but you are pretty handy you you've done it before it looks like you're pittsburgh in it maybe <laughs> we'll, we'll see see when it's gonna I get, be good see when i get done if you like it it's gonna be good that's a wrap we uh Wrapping up our weekend camping trip. That's so much fun. <laughs> track rock campground. Yeah. 
Highly recommend. It was nice and pretty peaceful. Yeah. A little creek over there just running. But uh, we got a really nice campground here, so. Yeah, it's really nice. So many amenities. There's, I mean. Kids won't be bored. Yeah, your kids won't be bored. Yep, they got the uh, lake Unless they're there. internet dependent. Yeah. And that, then that might be a problem. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> You get, you get a little Wi-Fi, and every now and again, you'll get a little signal, but not much here. Yeah. But uh, what a great weekend. Yeah, it was. It was so much fun. So we're going to do it again. Yeah, we are. Well, well all right. right. <laughs> I tell you what, we had uh, probably one of the best times we've had in a long time. Yes. Going out and doing this. It's been a while. Um, the our our, were meal, good, our meals have changed a lot since we used to camp. It was hot yep. dogs, hamburgers, but you know, um, some good grilled cheese your, sandwiches and your steaks. steaks were, your steaks were they good. They just uh, they hit the spot. They but did. I tell you what, this campground is. It's by, massive by for far, one thing. By far, it's probably the best campground I've ever been to in my life. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can see how clear the pond water yeah, is. Track Rock Campground. I'm telling you, uh, there's got at least fifty camp sites as far as uh pop-ups or camp or tent camping but then it's got rv camping too and, and cabins and cabins oh yeah. i forgot the cabins but it's and horse you know horseback riding trail riding i mean it is so and 30 bucks a night yeah i think the for an rv is 35 but i mean it's still 35 dollars a night and you got access to all the amenities. There's Tommy wanted to eat those, and I said no. <laughs> it, it was such a great weekend. I mean, the, the campsite we had, we actually was going to go back the very next weekend, but it was going to rain, so we kind of bypassed on it. And yeah. We kicked ourselves in the butt for not going yep. anyway. But you know, it was it was probably it was the best uh, the best campsite I think I've ever been to. I think it was one of the best weekend trips we've ever taken. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and we're right there outside of town, but you're really out in the middle of nowhere, so yep. that makes any sense. Yeah. You're probably 15 or 20 minutes to go somewhere, but you could actually just stay there right. and, and have just a great time. The The way that the lots are set up for camping, you can't, you can't hardly beat it, I mean... No, you really can't. The, the, they sell firewood. They got a little store. They sell firewood. You can go get ice, you know, and all that stuff. And it's on the honor system, so you can go up there at 2 o'clock in the morning and get firewood or ice. I right. mean, it's, it's no big deal. But Anyway. I, I think it was great. Yeah, it was. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time. Stay spicy. Stay spicy. Bye-bye. <laughs>